Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Gabby, aka Mocha. Okay, yes, before you say it, I know I have not made a video in like three weeks and I know I said in the last video I'm gonna start being consistent and bringing videos every Sunday, but you know, sometimes it just doesn't happen like that. But I did want to come on today and make a video for you guys today because I see my subscribers and it said a thousand subscribers. And if you're not familiar with YouTube requirements, a thousand subscribers is a stepping stone for any YouTuber. And if you get to a thousand subscribers, woo for you and that's how I feel. So I just wanna say thank you to all of my thousand subscribers. It's not a lot, but it's something and it just really motivated me to like, you know what? Let me get back on these videos and stay consistent for you guys. You love me and I love you. Thank you. <laughs> But yes, yeah, so let's get into today's video. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be doing something different with my hair. Well, not different per se for any natural girl or anything that anyone hasn't seen. Just different for me. So I brought this diffuser, Diva Curl Diffuser from Amazon. And... I heard a lot of great results with this diffuser. It gets really up there in your hair and dry your hair and get the best results. So, like I said, that's different for me. I never diffuse my hair because I always just strictly like no heat. I thought diffusing was adding heat to your hair, which probably may cause heat damage if you use it the wrong way. So I just did not want to do it. And honestly, like looking at different natural girls, use a diffuser and use it properly and probably use it on the lowest heat possible, you can use a diffuser. And I noticed that a lot of natural girls do it often. And I'm like, oh my God, I've been missing out. So today will be my first time diffusing my hair. So many people are like, diffuse your hair, diffuse your hair so you won't wait so long for your hair to dry. And I'm like, hmm. I don't know, that's adding heat to my hair and I don't wanna do that. So, yeah, so today I am gonna be doing that. Like I said, I got the Diva Curl Diffuser and I brought this Revlon, Revlon Blow Dryer from Amazon. So I am going to be doing that today. So, stay tuned. So before we get into this video, guys, I do wanna mention that I just finished washing my hair and I use the co-wash from Design Essentials Almond and Avocado in their conditioner. And let me tell you, I love those products. And I have been trying to find a different product for the longest because the other products that I have been using that I, when I first started transitioning, they were working with my hair. But on the way, going forward, it just wasn't working with my hair. No, fast forward, it just wasn't working with my hair anymore. So someone mentioned to me about Design Essentials products and oh my God, it just brings my curls back to life. My curls were soft, it were, they were juicy and other products that I have been using, my hair just felt dry, brittle and you know, I was just like, oh my God, I can't find any product that works for my hair and let me tell you, I rarely talk about products or say this product is good but i love that product it smells good it makes my hair really soft and smooth it's it <laughs> so i just wanted to put that out there i'm probably late with the game with using design essentials but hey i'm here and my hair loves it and i love it too so <laughs> so but let me stop rambling so do not judge me during this process when you see me do my hair you see i have these flexi rods in my hair that's because i cannot find my actual clips like these like this one so therefore improvising this what I do so don't judge this whole video don't do it because why that's my business quote quote Tabitha Brown <laughs>
Okay guys, so as you can see, I just finished applying all of that product in my hair. So peep, your girl curls are popping. But of course, I am not leaving my hair like this. But what I am gonna do is, because I have seen a few other natural girls do this, I am gonna just let my hair air dry for probably like 30 minutes, just so that it can dry on its own just a little bit before diffusing my hair. A lot of natural girls, or the few natural girls that I have seen, they said that they get better results because their hair is drying a little bit before just putting that uh, extra little heat to your hair because they said they noticed that they just, when they do apply the diffuser to the hair right after applying the product, they do tend to get a little frizzy uh, hair and I don't want that. So I'm gonna try that method. I seen the way that they did it and I'm gonna try that method. So yes, I'm going to air dry for 30 minutes and I'll be back. Okay guys, so I waited about 30 to 35 minutes just to let my hair kind of air dry a little bit. And my hair is still wet, of course, but it's not 100% wet like it was before. And it feels a little dry, but not completely. And that is what I was looking for. So now it's time to diffuse. So like I said, I'm using the Diva Curl Diffuser and the Revlon Blow Dryer. So many of you are probably like, why didn't you just get the whole Diva Curl Blow Dryer plus this? Um, the Diva Curl, everything is 150. This was a gift card purchase, so I didn't pay for this. And this was like $25, so mm, balling on a budget. <laughs> anyway, what I really, really wanted was the Dyson blow dryer, but of course, who was about to pay $400 for that? Not I. I mean, I'm pretty sure everything is different. You know, it can do a wonderful job. I see amazing results, but hey, your girl is not about to get that. Okay, so this is the Diva Curl Diffuser Hand. And I've heard that it goes, it can go on this, so. This is my first time using a diffuser, so let's see how this goes. So, um, turn on, I'm gonna turn it on low and it's gonna be on warm, so. this is my first time doing it so i'm probably doing it wrong like i know you're supposed to like kind of scrunch up and do this and that but i'm not really liking it so far so hopefully when the in of the results coming out here is fully dry i'll start to like it but i mean i did get a trim too so that might be a reason but let's just keep going and see i like doing new things so hold on
Okay guys, so this is the final results of my hair. And let me start by saying this. If you know me, then you know that I love volume and I love stretched out hair. I am not getting volume. I'm not getting stretch. I mean, I'll say this. I am getting a little bit of volume, but stretch is not there at all. It's a lot of shrinkage and I do not care for shrinkage at all. I mean, it's not overall bad. It's still a little cute. It has a little uh, shape there, but I do not care for it because shrinkage, I already have a baby face, so the shrinkage just, just, it just doesn't go. It's not a good combination whatsoever. But I will say that I do like the method that I did air drying first for 30 minutes and then using the diffuser. I'm not sure if that played a part with no frizzy hair, but I did not experience frizzy hair. I know a lot of girls that say that they have the fuse and they experienced a lot of frizzy hair and it just didn't work out. My hair is frizzy now a little bit because it was it is raining and I did go out so it's a little frizzy but when I did diffuse, no frizzy hair at all. And I'm not sure if this plays a part too, like it doesn't just directly um, put heat to your hair, you know, you can just go in like that and bam. So I really like this diffuser, it's really good. I would definitely try it again. Well, most likely probably try it again when my hair is a little bit longer. I did have a trim maybe a couple weeks ago. I mean, I have shrinkage anyway, but I think the trim played an extra part of making it like even more shrink, <laughs> more shrinkage than usual. But I will say that the diffuser did kind of get bring a little volume out in my hair because if I were to air dry my hair without a diffuser or without using that diffuser, my hair probably would have been flat and like a little bit shorter. Um, so the diffuser did help with bringing out the volume in my hair. So overall, not bad. Just this like the shrinkage. I wish I was a little bit more volume and I would be like, 100% okay and stretch <laughs> I would have been okay but I mean like I said overall it's not bad it was my first time doing it I probably did have some mistakes here and there like I said don't judge me don't come for me in the comments <laughs> first time doing it I probably did some things wrong if I didn't do anything wrong let me know but don't be rude <laughs> um but I do thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos.